Hi, Country Changes. Welcome to another month. We are featuring Lockhart Shire this month, and I am uh, really pleased to introduce to you Joel and Emma Sim, who have moved to the Rock uh, in Lockhart Shire about seven years ago in 2015. Welcome, guys. How are you? Great, thanks. Good, thank you. Nice. Well, I do know that Shire very well because I used to live in Lockhart myself, So, um, and I've climbed the Rock numerous times so you're in a beautiful part of the world how do you find it it's fan fantastic there's um beautiful nature around good community the town's well kept and yeah it's a great place to live yeah nice and you moved in 2015 where did you move from and was this your first country change um we moved from tamworth to come down here it's actually sort of our third country change we done a lap of New South Wales. Um, we both grew up in the outer suburbs of Sydney um, and with work we both had the opportunity to, to try a few different country towns and um, ended up settling down here as we're having children just to be close to some family and yeah, to a great community and em Emma was quite familiar. She's with the area because she um, has family that live nearby. Uh, I was going to say, what was the motivation to settle in Lockhart, uh, Lockhart Shire? So it was your family, Emma? Yeah, yeah. My mum grew up in The Rock. Um, and so I spent a lot of my school years in the holidays coming and spending time with the family on the farm. And I really loved it. Um, but there's also the, the centre of Wagga was a draw card for us as well. It provided a lot of work and, and opportunities for the growing family for what what we value and we, what we want to um, provide for our kids. Yeah, what I might do is actually share a map of um, where Lockhart Shire is situated and that way people get a good idea. So right here we've got the Shire of Lockhart. You guys are seeing that? Yes. Yeah. Yep. So we've got the Shire of Lockhart. If we zoom in, it should come up with, oh, no, not yet. Let me zoom in some more. <laughs> the rock, here we go. So it's sort of right on the um, outskirts of the actual Shire. I used to live up here. Um, and we've got Wagga right here. So how long does it take you to get into town? So it's a half hour, half hour drive into town. So it's, it's quite comfortable, quite easy to do. Yeah, yeah. And if we look in relation to some of the other bigger cities we've got sydney up here from memory about five yep. and a half hours yeah yes. yeah five and a half hours and about four hours four and a half hours to melbourne depending on which part you want yeah. to go to so it's um pretty centrally located to the major major cities canberra's three hours away yeah so. yeah yeah no we um used to drive down to melbourne quite regularly to go shopping and go to the afl so I uh, know that road very well. But um, then you've also got what I, I love about the Riverina is that you're, you've also got all these other beautiful uh, Riverina towns to go and explore, which are really diverse. So um, it's nice exploring your own backyard. Just yeah. just on Wagat, you, you were mentioning that you were close to it and that was a draw card. Tell me why that was a draw card for you. Um, well, both of us have, have jobs that um, are based in a major centre. So Emma's a nurse, I'm a firefighter. Um, and having young kids, having access to um, to health facilities. Um, swimming lessons. Swimming, swimming lessons, sport, hot, sport high schools, yeah. that sort of thing. Yeah. Um, it's it's handy being, being close to major centres. Yeah. yeah. And I think growing up in Sydney, we had that opportunity to, to access services like that. So that's what we want to offer our children as well. Yeah, and obviously Wagga's got a university, um, numerous yeah. TAFEs and training opportunities yeah. and no shortage of jobs <laughs> across the whole of the region. So when you decided to make your first tree change, because growing up in sort of the outskirts of Sydney, I'm guessing life was very different to what it is now. What prompted that initial tree change for you? Um, I think it was Emma, Emma was finishing uni. Yeah. I was already working um and our options were to either rent or try to buy in sydney or you know experience we're only in our early 20s at the time so took the opportunity to um, try something different and step outside our comfort zone and i think we've uh, we've always had interests in you know outdoors 
four-wheel driving, hiking. Yeah. Um, we both studied agriculture in high school. So even though we, we went to school in Sydney, we we had that interest already. And so we were really happy to leave Sydney and just explore yeah. what else was around, what other opportunities we had. Yeah. And I know you've you've added to your tribe. Um, what? Tell me about your 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 tribe. How many you have, uh, and what is it that they like about the region? Um, yeah, so we've got four kids. The oldest is nine, seven, five, and three. Um, so very busy with them. They they love being part of a small community. Um, you know they. They go to the local school. There's, um, so you know, you go into town and you see see their friends nearly every day. The teachers are part of the community, and yeah, it's the just, teachers are part of the football. Yeah, you know, volunteer at footy on the weekend, and it, our, you know, the Rock has a thousand people. Our little town, um, and so it is. It's really, it's really nice, and it's a beautiful community. So we've got the best of both worlds. Um, what else do the kids love? I think they love the farm. They yeah. love have it, the space. Yeah, having, having space and being able yeah. to get out and just run around. Yeah. 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 And look, growing up in the country, there's nothing like it. I, I say I might be biased because I grew up in the country. Um, and don't get me wrong, I've had the city experience too, but I think you, I don't know, grow up with a different appreciation for what country life is like, the land, um, appreciation of how your food is, where it comes from and how much labour of love goes into it. Because you guys also have a farm. So tell me about that. Yeah, um, we do. You, you want to go? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we farm nearly 2,000 acres here in the Rock. Um, it is in partnership with my parents and we've also bought on our own as well. Um, we do sheep we're mainly graziers and we also have cereal cropping um yeah I, because we we have off-farm jobs as well um we you so their cropping is done by a neighbor on a shares basis and our sheep work well <clears throat> i do most of our sheep work and um yeah it's it's um it's it's great to have the, the opportunity to be able to do these sort of things was it a baptism of fire for you going and um, having sheep or have you have you had a little bit of exposure to that in previous um, occasions? Yeah, well, a bit of a baptism of fire, yeah, a little little bit. Um, we, we had... We had 100 acres yeah, in Tamworth, in, so we played around yeah, on played our around own. Yeah, played around and learnt a few things, but um, moving into a, a bigger mob and a bigger property and actually having to make an income from it, um, yeah, is a lot more lot more work and a lot more management than, uh, than you can see from the surface. Yeah. yeah, look, um, hats off to you guys. You've really uh, jumped right in with, with four children, jobs in town and a farm and another little side business. Um, you guys renovated the original cottage and um, transformed that. Can you share more with us? Yeah, so when we bought um, the farm down here, Avalon, a few years ago, there was the existing house was still there, the, the original house. Um, hadn't been lived in for 20 odd years and hadn't been well maintained prior to that um but it was a the construction was nice and sound so we um decided, decided to renovate it and when we travel we like to stay in you know those sort of locations so we we did it up and now we yeah operate avalon farm stay as part of our, our business um for people to come and yeah experience life on the farm um it's just a, a nice place to be or or you can explore the farm and see how how we do things and yeah, it accommodates up to seven people. So it's a great option for families and extended families. Mm. And um, you have your own space, you know, your own kitchen, your own lounge room, have a have a fire in winter and all that sort of business. Um, yeah. yeah, bring your kids out of the city and, and see what life's like on the outside. We, we have a lot of guests that are multi-generational. So the family will come with children and also their parents will come and, and they can all stay together in the house. And a lot of people sort of city to Melbourne they'll come and stay with us. We're about halfway. So on as they're commuting or within their travels, they'll come and, and have a couple of nights with us. Yeah, yeah, that's so awesome. So how have you found starting a business in the Lockhart Shire? Um, yeah, it's been really good. Um, the the council's been quite supportive, especially the, because it's a tourism business. Um, there's been a lot of support there and a lot of drive. Um, there's not a lot of uh, accommodation around uh tourist accommodation so 
so they were quite supportive to get us up and going and and offered us a bit of guidance and, and that sort of thing. So it's um yeah, council have been really good for us. Um just little things like signage, you know, they helped us put up signage to show people where we were and helped us promote it and um showed us all, all the resources that were out there for us. So how important was that for you to be able to set up Avalon, sorry, Avalon Farmstay? Yeah, yeah. Avalon yeah. Farmstay, yep. Yeah. Um how I guess instrumental was their support in you being able to set that up and get it going? Yeah, yeah it, was, it was quite quite significant um to know that they're they're on our side, you know. Yeah. And um yeah, and yeah, just, just the little tips and hints and 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 the guidance on on where to go and what what resources to reach out to or where where to um where to where we can advertise ourselves and, and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, you've got your toes uh your your fingers in many pies. What's the expression around toes? I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those things. What I might also do is so people get a bit of um context of of what the region looks like i'll share my screen again um in this little video hopefully it comes up um and i mean the shire i mean all of the riverine is beautiful but the shire where you are is really really pretty um just tell me about some of the things there are to do close by where um you know we're seeing actually that's a drone yeah. from the top of the rock um that we're seeing there um what else do you love about the region yeah well I suppose we live in the rock and our farm is directly opposite the front entrance of the rock so that's sort of our playground that's Galore Hill that that screen there and um you can see Galore Hill from the back of Avalon Farm Stay from from the top of our hill there yeah um, um yeah and having those two options too the rock hill you know, you need to walk to, to get to the top, but Galore Hill, you can drive right right to the top mm. of it. Um, there's a great bit of history through both of them, Aboriginal history, Bushranger history. Yeah. Um, yeah. Lots of right. things. Um, yeah. The, um, if there's ever a time to visit, can't climb the Rock Hill on Father's Day. There's oh. The canola is incredible and the wattles are amazing. That's when the Shire really is so beautiful. Yeah. So that's the time. Yeah. Um, um, the 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 show has been really good. Um, we've got the local pool. Yeah. The, it's been refurbished. Yeah, um, yeah. And Think, at Lockhart as well. Yeah. So it's awesome. But both the major towns have have pools have been done up and new facilities. Um, the parks are all yeah well maintained and new There's playgrounds that. and always neat and tidy and clean and yeah and, and can, great great experience we can really feel a difference between the shires lockhart and Wagga with their maintenance and their um investing in the curb appeal and and this the public spaces that they're, they're they're really well the, the weed no weeds well mowed just it's a really comfortable place to spend time in um, and as you cross the Shire boundary, you can you can see the difference where, you know, maybe there's been investment in different areas, but but with Lockhart Shire, it's... Um, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah they're, they're invested in the community. Yeah, and we saw in that video the, some various aspects of the, the rock and just how, uh, I guess, its presence is so unique like it's it's indigenous history is really really interesting um and the indigenous side um and the culture and the history across all of the riverina is very special um and i know very much respected and celebrated um so it's i think great for kids as well to have that kind of exposure to the various cultures and even um i know within the shire you have lots of different cultures um, and dining opportunities for for people. Have you experienced that? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, within the Shire, um, out, out in Lockhart, there's a, a few, a couple of the pubs have been have changed hands in the last few years and, and have really got a kick on. And there's an Indian restaurant in one of them, and a conventional Australian restaurant in, in another. And it's um, yeah, there's a lot of opportunity out there for people. Yeah. Awesome. Are there any tips that you would offer anyone interested in a tree change to Lockout Shire or the rock specifically? It's beautiful. Um, yeah, it. just, just do it. It's a great community. Um, yeah, and you just you need to get yourself involved in the community to, yeah. to be part of it. 
um, people are there to support you. And um, yeah. Yeah. And regardless of what your values are, you'll find something that you can, you know, contribute to or connect with. Um, I love sport. And so I, I play tennis at Euron Creek just down the road. And um, we have the kids playing in the local football team. Um, Joel volunteers with the fire brigade. I'm part of the show. I try to help the, with the local show because that's what I really enjoy. So there's lots of opportunities to um, reach out and, and be part of the community wherever your values lay. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. Well, if you guys, if anybody watching would like more information about Lockhart, you can jump on, oops, I better share my screen again. One second. You can jump onto the Country Change website, which is countrychange.com.au, head up to the plan of visit, come down to Lockhart, um, and here you'll find lots of information. You can contact directly Matt Holt, who is um, the gentleman that uh, um, Joel and Emma have been talking about who helped facilitate the sort of um, uh, growth and development of their Airbnb. Um, reach out to him, his email, the Council Shire web uh, information is on there, but you can also find out a little bit more about Lockout Shire, um, its history, its heritage, the services on offer things like climate, um, mm -hmm. transport, all of that sort of stuff. So jump on, there's heaps of information. If you are interested in finding out more about uh, jobs, uh, setting up your own business, whatever it might be, I know Matt would be more than happy to have a chat. Before we wrap up, was there anything else you'd like to add, Joel and Emma? Um, no, I don't think so. Just come, come and visit, see what it's like. <laughs> We've got a play, great place for you to stay. So, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Avalon Farm Stay. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. Thank you so much. And um, hopefully I can come and have a stay there as well. It sounds absolutely beautiful. We'd love you to come and visit. Yeah, cool. I'll bring my little man, my little four-year-old. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs>